with this Street Fighter 6 beta, here's what happened. Because you could actually see it happen with the last beta back in October. A lot of Street Fighter players, notable players, did not get in because it really was random selection. And guess what happens? The ball suckers, the ass kissers, the dumb fucks gave them the codes. How are you ever supposed to beat this Pokemon? It's a broken Pokemon because it's always faster than your Pokemon. So no matter what, it will always hit you first and fuck you up. And there's nothing you can do about it. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes in the... <laughs> Squeeze banana! Super effective, doesn't affect it. Are you kidding me? Come on! Come on! No! Come on! Launch him! I received a very generous tip. A $32 tip. Wow. And it's, it's basically, it's an insulting tip towards Mike Tyson. And I'm not saying it. It's a very old joke. I've heard this joke. I'm not even kidding you. I heard this joke about Mike Tyson, like, in the 1990s. <laughs> it's super old. Okay? Now, it doesn't say their name. But I guess we should say it's, it's Mike Tyson. To be $32. Because they didn't actually give a name. Okay? Not Ike Tyson. Mike Tyson. But basically, it's an insult to Mike Tyson. It's referencing his very sordid past and horrible things that he did with women in the past. And I'm not making that joke today. Because uh, number one, it's insanely old. It's like such an outdated reference. Number one. And number two, because I don't insult celebrities willy-nilly for no good reason. Mr. Tyson has done nothing to me. And I feel no reason to insult Mr. Tyson. So, thank you for the tip. But there's no way I'm reading that. But thank you for the $30 tip. May the person who has never sinned cast the first stone, right? I personally am very guilty of bad things that I did as a content creator in my early days as a content creator. I have apologized profusely for the things I did 12 plus years ago. I don't think that anyone should be holding me accountable for those things in 2022. I'm a much different person now, correct? So there you go. Uh, Glaziato Mountain. Glazio. Glaziato. Do you see what I see? Have you ever thought about doing giveaways to increase engagement? I used to do giveaways many years ago when I made a lot more money on YouTube, quite frankly. YouTube is terrible this month. No one's making any money. I'm actually making less than half of what I used to make on YouTube this month because ad revenue is in the toilet. I don't know if it's because they lost more advertisers. I don't know if it's because uh, it's just January. And, and um, they basically used to be things like games, collector's editions, content from games, etc. I stopped doing them for two reasons. All right. There's two major reasons why I stopped. The first major reason, by the way, I used to call it the Hardcore Gaming Season Giveaway. I did it every year, one week, every month for for three months. It was also October. No, actually, it started in September, so it was four months a year. So basically, there were 16 giveaways a year. Sometimes it was a game. Sometimes it was collector's edition content from a game that I didn't want. It was all interesting things that I gave away. So there's two reasons why I stopped with that. All right. Reason number one is because I have an international audience. What I mean by that is that I don't necessarily have an insane majority of people who are in the United States who watch me. I actually have a very big audience. I'd say probably maybe half my viewership is in the United States, but then there's a big chunk in Great Britain, Canada, um, other European countries. There's actually a few in Asia. You know, someone in Singapore is a regular here. And what ended up happening was people would win the contest and it would cost so much money to ship something so simple. Once I mailed a t-shirt, the value of the t-shirt was probably $10. It cost me $57 to mail it across the, the globe. Okay, that's something you can do if you're making a ton of money and you have that kind of flexibility. I don't. Plan for retirement. Retirement. Dude, I can't pay my day-to-day -day bills. Right now, my bank account is overdrawn. I'm not even kidding you. 
Right now, my bank account is overdrawn. Where, there's no money for retirement. At one point in my life, much earlier in my life, I was saving money for retirement, and that's all been spent because I had to spend so much money to make ends meet out here. So, okay, especially today, very different than it was back then. You know, to me, it's a lot harder to make ends meet today, so I can't really be doing that kind of stuff. That's number one. Number two, my trolls would literally turn my, my giveaways into negative things. So I'll give you a perfect example. There was one time when I had a collector's edition of a game. I can't remember what it was, like a Deus Ex game or something like that. So the game itself I played and had kept and traded in, but this game had a significant amount of collector's edition content. It had a big special case. It had an art book. It had like a collector's edition CD it came with, and people were interested in that. In fact, hundreds of people entered to win that content, okay? Someone won. I mail it out. My fucking haters say, oh, Phil gave away empty boxes for his giveaway. And they very, very falsely slandered me for years and years claiming I was giving out empty game boxes. All right, the very first item I'm giving away is Deus Ex Human Revolution's Collector's Edition content. So let me show you what exactly that is. This does not include the game. This is not the game, okay? This is Deus Ex Human Revolution Collector's Edition. Comes with this very nifty collector's box on the inside. Comes with a few things. First of all, collector's edition packaging. As you open that up, you're going to see the game's gone because I traded it in years ago. But it does have the second bonus disc that probably has the behind the scenes content and stuff like that. Okay. But what about all the other collector's edition content and the hundreds of people who entered into the giveaway? Who wanted that content? And by the way, another thing about those giveaways is that it was a way for people to get my autograph. So I would sign a business card. I would sign the item I'm giving away. It would be like a nice collectible for that person who was a fan of mine. So it wasn't just necessarily what I was giving away, but it was other stuff as well. Okay? So basically, after years of doing it, you know, and spending a lot of money doing it to give back, and then after seeing people just shit and hate on me on the internet constantly for doing it, and then the fact that financially things basically aren't as good anymore for various different reasons. That's why I stopped doing the giveaways, okay? If there was ever a way to get like digital codes or something to give away on the regular, I would absolutely do that. I, it just doesn't happen. So, there you go. If I could give away digital copies of these games after I'm done playing them, I would, but you can't do that. So that's why I don't do it. I can't afford it. And people would just shit on me regardless anyway, even if I did something nice, because they're scumbag. So there's no point in wasting my time. I'll just put out fun streams for you guys. Which are nice and free, by the way. Yeah, I know, Shefty. I know people suck. You, just imagine going out of your way, holding a contest. Hundreds of people enter. The people who, the person who wins is stoked. Can you autograph this for me? Can you send it to me? You send it to that person. You spend a ton of money to mail it because they don't live in the United States. So you spend like $30 to $40 to ship this, this collector's edition content to them. The contest is great. Within the next week, everyone on the internet is laughing at you. Did you know Dark Side Phil gives away empty boxes? for his giveaways. Ha ha ha, let's make fun of him. It's like, what? Like, you couldn't lie any worse, but that's why, those are the misrepresentations that are about me for years on the internet, and people believe them because they're so fucking stupid, and they don't want to actually look five seconds into the truth because they're assholes. That's why I don't, what, what's, the, what's the point in bothering, right? Why bother? I'll just put out fun content on the streams for you guys, and we'll have fun this way. I can't do the stuff other people do because there's too many scumbags on the internet. Okay. But that was the thing. It was cool audience interaction, and people would basically get something special. Like, oh, look, it's not necessarily about this collector's edition, you know, case or artwork that I got about the game. Phil signed it, and I have, like, a souvenir from Phil. Keep in mind, I don't sell my autograph. I don't give out souvenirs or anything. I don't go to, I don't go to events and appear. I don't do any of that stuff. You know, I used to, but that was a very long time ago. I'm not one of these YouTube content creators that goes to every fucking VidCon and everything. So, basically, you either see me on a stream or that's it, right? So, to get something special like that was actually meaningful to a lot of people. That's right. Now, I don't even have t-shirts anymore. Even that was taken away from me, right? I did absolutely nothing wrong. I had my t-shirts taken away from me as well. You know, I was like, oh, just like every, every possible thing has to fucking be me to bully me on the internet, right? So, it is what it is. Like I said, I, am, I would think about doing merch again if you guys want it. Um, I don't know if you want it. It doesn't seem like there's been an overwhelming demand for it. So I haven't really gone crazy in that regard. But if you guys want it, then I would consider someday bringing back merch. What was, what was kind of messed up, so I saw a post on Twitter 
about someone who is part of the Street Fighter community, who I guess everyone, I guess this guy is ultimately known as like the nice guy in the Street Fighter community. So he applied to both the Wave 1 and Wave 2 Street Fighter 6 betas and didn't get in, but so many other people got in in the community. And basically he's like so upset. He's like, that's it. He's like, this is it. The last straw of my life. No longer Mr. Nice Guy. All my life I've played by the rules. While all these assholes are getting ahead. Look at all these assholes in the beta and I'm not in it. Fuck this. From now on, I'm, I'm number one. I only care about myself. <laughs> so he posts up this crazy, this crazy like rant tweet. And everyone's responding to him like, holy shit. And then someone's like, dude, you gotta understand something. Like, it's not like that. Like, it was really RNG. They're not picking and choosing. You know, what it is. Here's, here's the truth of the matter, okay? With this Street Fighter 6 beta... Here's what happened, because you could actually see it happen with the last beta back in October. A lot of Street Fighter players, notable players, did not get in because it really was random selection. And guess what happens? The ball suckers, the ass kissers, the dumb fucks gave them the codes. But don't worry, those who only stream this game or have been waiting for this game to come back because all they've been doing is survive uh, Battle Royal recently. If you haven't noticed, the people who only stream first-person shooters like Call of Duty literally have been playing Battle Royal like Fortnite and shit recently because they don't have anything else to do and they can't retain an audience without it. So they're going to love this game. They're going to be kissing the game's butt and saying it's great because they need to get viewership back. But the game is not very good in my opinion. They're not supposed to do that. It says right on the fucking registration it says you cannot give this code over they did it anyway which is why if you didn't notice in the in the wave one beta there was a lot of known players but they were playing on accounts that weren't theirs because that's how they got into it people are giving away the code so the known players can play it's fucked up it's supposed to be actually random selection why are you giving your code away to some fucking guy giving him preferential treatment it's dumb as shit you shouldn't do it but that's what happened. So what's happening is people who don't have people to be preferential to them are feeling like shit. They're like, I want to apply for it. I can't, I'm not getting in. And now you feel like shit because now you got left out. But all the top pro players got in. Yeah, because the ball suckers and ass kissers gave them their codes because they're fucking idiots. They shouldn't have done that. Dave Baxter, this is not a rant. This is me telling it like it is. If this were a rant, I would I would put up a... I would put up a thing that says, man yells at clouds, but... It's not. It's just true. I hate to say it. This kind of preferential bullshit has happened to the competitive Street Fighter community forever. There's too many fucking ball sucker idiots out there. But, oh, I can help a top player by giving them the code. They didn't fucking get the code. So don't give it to them. It's supposed to be random selection. It's not random selection. If you give them everything, you fucking idiot. <laughs> they, trust me. These people don't need preferential treatment. They already get more than enough in the community. They don't need you also sucking their nuts. Okay, you stop with that. Derek, indeed, I was surprised when I find out the Street Fighter 6 release date. I thought that it would be much earlier. I thought it would be like February. The fact that it's June, I, I can't imagine what they're going to be doing for the next five to six months. Hopefully, improving the game a lot more. Nice. So, Ryuka says, what do you think about the initial look and gameplay for DJ and Street Fighter 6? I know DJ and Street Fighter 4 wasn't that good compared to Super Turbo. In reality, he wasn't that good in Super Turbo either. Just because I played with him at a tournament level. Uh, I myself am a former pro fighting game player. Most people never did. He's considered mid to low, lower mid tier in Super Turbo. Just that I learned him enough to be winning competitive matches. Um, But, no. uh, I don't know. I don't know because I did I didn't really watch a full gameplay breakdown or anything. I just watched that little preview in the video that they played during the game awards. And he looks interesting. I mean, having a fake out, max out, having a double max out without meter burn. Um even having these new kicks that I don't even know what they're gonna do. It seems like his new kicks are totally new moves and properties, right? So until I guess we get our hands on him, we won't know that much. And the problem is he's not in the beta this weekend, which I wish he was. I don't understand why he's not. It's kinda weird. Now, Dodder, we've answered this question a million times. Is why don't you have super chat goals with incentives? It's very simple. Because right now, tips are more important to me in my business. Because tips I get right away. And tips have a less percentage taken out of them as other types of uh, contribution. So, that's why. I need to have more tips than anything, if possible. Now, tonight. If you cheer sub or tip, I'll give you a shout out. However, FYI, I do prefer tips tonight. Uh, tips help me more than anything right now in the current financial situation I'm in. Basically, I need to raise as many funds as possible to pay bills 
because I am way behind on money right now because of a lot of things that have been going on, which I won't bother you with. I'm not saying you have to tip. Other methods of contribution are greatly appreciated and help this channel in the long term. In fact, memberships right now would be great because we're trying to hit a member's goal and we're running out of time. But why would I have a goal for something when I'm trying to hit, do something else? That would make no sense at all. Zero. How does that even make sense? It makes no fucking sense at all, right? It makes zero sense. How does that make any sense? <laughs> oh, hey, I heard the good news. Congrats on gym badge number six. Not even a tenth of the trainers who take on the gyms get this far, you know. But I'm not surprised you made it. I just knew there was a reason you caught my eye. Thanks. Oh, please. I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up before you take on the gym, huh? Come on, you know the drill by now. Oh, boy. Great. Time to lose to Nimona a second time, apparently. She's going to cheat. Watch. She's going to use the Pokemon to only counter my Pokemon. Ta-ta-ta-chan. Here's our battle code for today. Okay, right. Mm-hmm. Always important to check what environment your Pokemon will be battling in. The battlefield can have teeny effects on your Pokemon's balance and stuff, you know. Anyway, sorry I sort of dragged you here, but a little pre-gym warming up should do you good. Now, come on, DSP. Let's have a fruitful battle. What is that? I don't know. Crunch it. Oh, come on. It has no health. Go ahead, Goku Bros. Yeah! Beat him down. That stung, but you're not the only one who can eat hard when he counts. Thunder Wait! No, it's not! It's not Ghost. Wait, yes it is. Beat up. Here comes the fun part. Time to take this Teta Orb Shine. Here we go again. And special attack rises. Beat it up. There's no damage. I'm doing no damage even though it's the weakness move. Look. My whole party attacks, it does like one-tenth of its life bar. What the hell is this? See, if I bring in Godzilla, is he going to get instantly killed? So, has a heightened chance of landing a critical hit. Has a heightened chance of using a critical hit. Move completely misses. <laughs> what the fuck? How are you ever supposed to beat this Pokemon? It's a broken Pokemon because it's always faster than your Pokemon. So no matter what, it will always hit you first and fuck you up. And there's nothing you can do about it. This is just broken as fuck. The game is so fucking broken. It's ridiculous. Unfair as hell. It always goes first, no matter what I do. It literally always has the first turn. Right? So what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Besides, if I keep reviving the guys who have Sucker Punch, and they come in and get a Sucker Punch, that's about all I can think of. Right? Like, it's the only thing I can think of that'll work, is just keep reviving them and have them do Sucker Punch over and over. I don't have a Max Revive? I don't have a Max Revive. 
Oh, that's good. <laughs> Great. Ah. Hello, Davey Hogan. Peter, thank you for the super chat. I do not need a hug today. If I, have, if I want a hug, I'll get it from my wife. But thanks for the offer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really, really think they thought these fights through too much. This is the most powerful Pokemon I've ever fought in any game. It really is. It's ridiculously broken. It always goes first and always charges its special attack and always one-shots your team. Oh, that was a critical hit. That was a critical hit there, folks. How much PP does this fucking thing have? <laughs> How much PP does it have? The only thing I can do is Sucker Punch. It's not going to kill it. I'm so close to killing it, and I'm not going to kill it. You can't use Throat Chop. I will never use it. He's fa This Pokemon is faster than all of my Pokemon forever. The two times I fought her, this Pokemon is faster than my whole team. So it always attacks first unless I use Sucker Punch. It doesn't make any sense. Like, how am I supposed to beat it? If it always attacks first, it always buffs its special attack when it attacks. And it always insta-kills my guys. It's an unbeatable strategy. And I don't know why the fuck they built it like that. It doesn't make any sense to me. The only thing I can do is this. And this is probably not going to work. You ready? This is the only thing I can do. And I'm going to probably lose the fight. Ready? Terrorist alive Sucker Punch. That's all I can do. And hope that the Sucker Punch kills it. It's probably not going to. But that's the only thing I can do because I can't even hit it with Throw Chop. I wish it was, but it's not going to work. It's not going to win the fight. He's going to have a tiny bit left and he's going to kill me. See? And now I'm dead. Oh my god. I'm dead. I have no idea what hit me. That's it. It's completely unfair. He always hits the first attack no matter what. I can't use any powerful abilities because he always attacks first and insta-kills my party. That's twice in a row the game just cheats with this fight. He cheated. He's a fucking cheater. A blatant fucking cheater. 100% blatant cheating. What are you supposed to do? I don't know how I beat it. I really don't understand how I beat it unless I custom make my party early, anticipating that she might fight me with that Pokemon. Like if I have a water type, okay, the fire type won't attack it, right? Or won't, won't affect it. But if I don't have a water type in my party, it's unwinnable. It's literally an unwinnable fight. It's twice in a row the game has done this. Like, what do you want me to do? I can't do anything to fight it. You can't do anything about it. It's fucking complete garbage. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I'm not even, you know what? As your reward, I'm not gonna read your dialogue. How about that? You don't get your, your dialogue read because they fucking really fucked this up in this game. They really did. I don't think they knew what they were doing. So if you don't have a water type, you can never beat her, basically. Just have a water type in your party for the whole game just in case Nimona shows up to fight you. There's no way you could beat her otherwise. Oh, okay, that's, that sounds like a fair game. 
right? That was incredibly stupid. And I wasted all those revives, right? You don't get them back. Nope. Oh, no, they stuck. They took all your revives. Well, let's save up. The game is completely unfair and broken.